Raccoon Tweeties. Hope you had a good week. Uh, I had a pretty good week. Gerardo, did you have a good week? Yeah, you know, it's the World Cup is starting, dude. So my my life has been taken over by the World Cup. Yeah, so it's the World Cup. It's also going to be the Thanksgiving episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if Flappers does anything for Thanksgiving. Do you think they do? Maybe they deliver some turkeys. I want, yeah, I think Flappers should have, because, like, I think the Laugh Factory has, like, a, a Thanksgiving meal. Anybody can come and they serve homeless people or Oh, yeah. On house people, which I think is nice. So, yeah, that's one good thing the Laugh Factory does. No, but Jimmy Masada calls him homeless. He does? Yeah. He also calls him disgusting. We well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we actually, we're, we've gotten a, a better appreciation for the homeless now. So oh, yes. Our activities, we're a bit, we're a little bit homeless, as they say. Yeah, we say unhoused because they don't deserve to be called homeless. What? <laughs> <laughs> they love Brendan Chop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's funny. They, I wonder if anyone's ever cracked on the unhoused. But no, but we, the reason they say homeless is because Shab said homeless. So that's why they're homeless cats, you know? Yeah. People listening to this not knowing what Shab is like, what? what? Why do they just start attacking homeless people? Who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, <laughs> well, yeah me and you. Uh, no, no, we are not. But we are homeless. Homeless as fuck, as they say. Do you think uh, Joshua Snyder dresses like a turkey and tries to scare Barbara? <laughs> he dresses bad. We're delivering food now. That club is so crazy. But I want to do, I'll, someday I want to do a Thanksgiving thing there. With, yeah. With like, you know, maybe I, I dress up like a pilgrim or something like that. And um, the flapper staff dress up as natives. I don't know. It could be fun. I'll do anything to make it happen. Me and you as pilgrims. <coughs> we do a live <laughs> podcast there dressed up as pilgrims. There's Thanksgiving food. Com- comedians eat free. And I know flappers won't like that. But I'm sure their chefs are capable of making uh, Thanksgiving food. I mean, Alan Strickland Williams said their food is pretty good, right? They got a yeah. good review. I remember their food being okay. I, I like their food, all right? I voiced off in the Discord about my thoughts on Alan Strickland Williams' views on flappers. <laughs> Please join the Discord if you Yeah, can. yeah. Did you say that you're like, there's too positive or something? Yeah, I just said blockbuster. I think mm-hmm. that speaks for itself. It really does. Mr. Shop, was Peño live? <laughs> Have you had the French fries there? Um... Yeah, I think so, but not for a long... Oh, Flappy Fries? Of course. Yeah. I was like, oh, of course I have. I almost forgot Flappy Fries. I guess it's been a real long time. It's been a, it's, I'm living in an apartheid of flappers, you know? I'm on one side and they're on the other side. Is there any, like, thought to the conjugation of stuff at flappers or just flappy because it just sounds cool? Um, I think that they just do flappy because it's like, you know, that's their... They're like, we're flappers, so we're fla- flappy hour, flappy fries... <laughs> Flappy pay, you know, like, is it? Is that what they call Flappy (laughs) That's direct deposit. Flappy bucks. (laughs) Flappy You can spend it on monster energy drinks. (laughs) If you get 10 Flappy bucks, which is equal to 25 US dollars, you can buy one monster energy drink for you and your family to split at the show. At the More Milk Monday. (laughs) At the Cookies and Cheese Thursday. We're delivering food now. Sponsored by Uncle Clyde. Sponsored by... uh, (laughs) An Armenian cell phone shop <laughs> that we're moving into. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, we want to get into the World Cup, but I, I just want to talk. I was telling somebody about there's like a on the on the shop subreddit. There's a thing where sh- they go into they kind of treat <laughs> this. It's a long thing, but they they go they're PF Changs and they treat the thing like uh, the subreddit as if it's an actual workplace. Yeah. So they have this one where it's a racial discrimination video and it's like, welcome to PF Chang's, you know, we're against racial discrimination and you may experience it. And they show the clip, the famous clip of Brendan Schaub talking about when he was hurt in the UFC and he has an Asian doctor and he does this really offensive, uh, stereotypical voice where he's like, Mr. Schaub. So sorry for your loss. You know, like, mm-hmm. worst pain, worst pain your life. <clears throat> guarantee. And, guarantee. And then they show the doctor for the UFC, and his name is Greg, and he's like, hi, I'm Greg. I'm the doctor. It's so funny. Yeah. It's so funny. What do you think? Or you actually worked at Flappers. I did. Did they have, yeah. like, a video of, like, the founding fathers and all the, like. They had kind of the same thing where um, they, like, had a really racist depiction of an you know, <laughs> <laughs> No, um, or like a video that's like your future, the founding father, your at future flappers. at flappers, and like we're gonna and then, and then offer stock them. options. You know what they did have? They did have some kind of offensive stuff. I think I've talked about this on the podcast before, but 
they had like a show called Confucius Say LOL. Oh. That was Asian comedians. But to be fair, that was thought of by an Asian comedian who's it was his show. Yeah. But I remember I remember that was kind of weird. They called the show with black comedians uh colored like color of com- colored comedy or something crazy like that. It doesn't even sound real. It sounds like I'm making it up. I remember one comic was like, why don't we just do a show with Italians called The Gabagools of Comedy? <laughs> and I thought that was funny. <laughs> um, and I think they had plenty of other ones that were weird. Um, they, But like they, the onboarding process, like there's no videos they showed you? Oh, I mean, I was just an intern. So I don't, there oh. was no, I mean, I wish, maybe there was an onboarding process that I missed. But mainly it was just you being afraid of bar. It was a psychopath who would yell at you. So you're just like free labor intern? No, they pay you a little. You get like oh. a very small stipend and then like free meals or something. I can't remember what it yeah. was. But one other thing they did that was kind of crazy was handicap parking or what, something like that. It was like special. They had a show where it was Drew Lynch and Sam Comro. And Sam has like Tourette's and Drew, his throat got hit by a baseball. So he stutters. And they called that show like handicap parking or something like that. Something crazy. like That sounds fucked up too, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so they're kind of on the same level as Shab a little bit. You know, they're a little blockbuster when it comes to respecting people's differences. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Confucius say LOL. Yeah. I feel like as a club owner, you have to step in and be like, no. Even if you are yeah. Yeah, Asian, it's not. That's too far. Yeah, Confucius wasn't known for laughing out loud. I mean, it was. I think Confucius was humorous in a way, right? Didn't he have some humorous stuff? I really don't know anything. I can't remember. Yeah. I'm talking out of my ass. Yeah. Anyways, let's get into the World Cup. Let's do it. Well, I I purposely didn't show you this. It's something that made me laugh very hard, and I wanted you to take have your take on it. Yeah. It's uh, Gianni, uh, what's his name? Gianni Infantino, the president of FIFA. The new president after <clears throat> yes. Sepp Blatter. I don't know if any of you guys watch the Netflix thing, but they're pretty corrupt over there at FIFA. Do you know the whole story or no? I know, I know the story just from watching the Netflix thing, like, some guy named Jao Havilan from Brazil took over uh, from a British guy. And the reason the British guy lost is because he was pro-apartheid. Yeah. He's like, oh, well, you know, it, it's, a, it's a give and take situation. Well, it's yeah. all right then. And then the uh, the Brazilian guy came in and was like, I'll, you know, help out Africa or whatever. So they voted for him. So, yeah, the British guy was like, there's yeah. good people on both sides. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and the Brazilian guy was like, actually, there's not good people anywhere, but yeah. vote for me. And then it became capitalist, which the Netflix documentary says is bad. And um, but let's be honest, it's not. It's not. Yeah. I think capital, capitalism is a little Netflix chin. <laughs> you know, I'm liking. I'm liking the capitalism at YouTube. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm liking the capitalist. It making me very capitalistic. Okay, seeing. The I like capitalism seven days a week. Seven days a week. Okay. <laughs> Tell you another guy who likes capitalism is uh, Jay Light. <laughs> He's, he went to lunch with Gerardo. So, oh yeah, yeah. shout out Jay Light, dude. Imagine what you'd be willing to do to have to go to lunch with Gerardo. Yeah, and then imagine, ga, 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 <laughs> imagine going to lunch with Gerardo. <laughs> I'm like, you want to come to the show? By the end of lunch, he's like, oh, my people will talk to your people. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, he yeah. pitched him on the show. Yeah, oh, um, no, I didn't do that, but he should yeah. come on the show. Yeah, yeah, Jay, you should come on the show someday. <laughs> um, so I don't. Well, we we were just talking about. So basically, what happened was there was a corruption scandal in 2010. Mm-hmm. Uh, that or that boiled over to 2014, 15 around there, mm-hmm. where they basically bought like Qatar bought the bid by going to a hotel and offering people money, and then they got arrested at the hotel at yeah. the next conference. And uh, it's Qatar, right? It should be Qatar. I think it's like I think in it's Ara- Qatar. Yeah, in Arabic, it's Qatar. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but I say Qatar. You say Qatar. <laughs> Qatar. Yeah. <laughs> it's pronounced Qatar, but I yeah. say it differently. Okay, Chin. <laughs> But now, all right, but yeah, yeah so yeah, they like, bought the bid. Guitar was trying to host the World Cup, but they only had five strings as opposed to six. Okay. Um, ga, 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 ga. Yeah. <laughs> I just got to get myself. You got yeah. you to get yourself. <laughs> you take a five-minute silent break. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I like your breakdown. Keep it, keep it. So what else? <clears throat> so long story short, out of the 27 delegates that vote for the World Cup, only two still work for FIFA today. That's how corrupt FIFA was God back damn. in the time. Qatar's delivering food. I watched <laughs> yeah, that game. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> How does it feel, dude? delivering food now. <laughs> um, that's what we should do anytime someone like gets Bombs. fucked. They fuck, they have, they're delivering food now. <laughs> if you remember, we're, re- <laughs> we're referencing a video that we made 
months ago that has about 500 views on YouTube. So <laughs> good chance you don't. But if you like our podcast, go back and check out the Flappers documentary episode. Because I think. Yeah. Bar- best as, episode. Yeah. As far as being funny, that's probably one of the funnier ones yes. for sure. Absolutely. So Qatar. So I keep saying I'm saying it wrong because you said it wrong. You son of a bitch. Cutter. Cutter. They paid for the bid. Obviously, <clears throat> they bribed people and then they won. And then they had all this slave labor. All these people from India and Bengal died, which is very sad. Now it's time to get very cinematic. Yeah. I'm going to take you back to 2001 circa, right? Okay. So there's this guy, Michael Platini, that's supposed to take Seth Platter's spot. The French soccer player. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Football. Football. Yeah. But apparently there was some $2 million that he didn't pay him in 2001. And Seth Blatter only was going to run two terms. But since he wanted, he was like, I don't know, power hungry, whatever. Yeah. Sepp Blatter, comment below. Let us know what you were. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Sepp Blatter, join the Discord. Yeah. You know, I very, I love money. Yeah. He still seems so, you know, I had fun doing wrong. <laughs> I was <laughs> constantly doing the wrong thing. Yeah. It's okay, though. He literally, yeah, he, that's what he sounded like on the documentary. He'd be like, yes, I did this very bad. <laughs> And then, but it like, it was somehow good. <laughs> yes. What I did was terrible. Yes. It, made, it, it made me like worry about people from Switzerland. Yeah. yeah. You know, in Switzerland, it's okay to steal money from Africa. It's, we like, it's good. <laughs> like, all right, evil man. <laughs> and so anyways, all these people are whatever else. And then it's Michael Platini and Seth Blatter trying to create the Michael Platini bid to become president. In the middle of that, they find out about this $2 million that they got paid in 2014 or whatever, mm. but they were trying to reference like a 2001 invoice for $2 million. Damn. But it was whatever, they got fucking banned by FIFA for eight years. And Seth Blatter is delivering food now. <laughs> yeah. Way to tie it all <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, well, so <laughs> Seth, did he step down like- He stepped ab- down days before he got banned for eight years. Oh, he got banned for eight years? Yeah. Okay, I didn't hear you say that. But then Vladimir Putin invited him to the 2018 Russia World Cup, and so he was there. <laughs> I didn't know there was a World <laughs> Cup in Russia. 2018, baby. Ah, okay, so that was the last one. The best one of all time. Why is that? The goals were, like, it was amazing, yeah. Wh- who won that one? France. Oh, shit, France won? <laughs> Where Damn. have you been? I totally wasn't paying attention to the last <laughs> one at all. I think I, what's the last one I remember someone winning? I remember like, didn't Germany beat Brazil real bad in one of them? Well, that wasn't the final, but that was the quarterfinals. Germany beat them 7-1. And then they lost to France? Uh, No, Germany won that World Cup. Oh, which one was that? <laughs> the one in Brazil, 2014. Oh, there, was a, there was a World Cup in Brazil? <laughs> I didn't remember that either. <laughs> yeah, 20... Oh, that's right. They lay lost in their home. Fucking, yeah. That's, that's kind of lame. And then 2010 was uh, South Africa where uh, Spain won. Damn, I don't remember that either. 2006. Italy, Italy beat France at one point. I remember Zinedine yeah. Zidane, he headbutted somebody. Yes. Being racist. So anyways, now back to 2022. Right. The World Cup has started. I'm waking up at four in the morning, watching the games through Discord. If you want to join, hit me up on the 10 Minutes of Shop Discord and I'll show you where to go. Whoop. But uh, basically, Gianni Infantino, the new uh, FIFA president, gave like a two or an hour and 10, 15 minute long Press conference. Nobody expected it to be this long. Yeah. Right? And he goes forward and says the funniest shit of all time. And I want to get your reaction, and I want you to pause whenever you want to pause, just like Shab. What's his name again? Gianni Infantino. And he's he's the Italian? Yeah, he's from Italy. Okay. Infantino. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is good because the White Lotus season two also takes place in Italy. So I'm very (laughs) feeling very italian As long as Rob Pugliese doesn't pop up on the screen at any point, I'll be fine. (laughs) Also, too... Uh, your goal for this whole thing is not to do an Italian accent, which is not going to happen. Probably not, but I'll try. <laughs> I do love the, I do love the Italian accent. It's quite funny. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, start to the clip. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now you really got me wanting to do it. <laughs> Here we go. Today I feel uh, Qatari. <laughs> Today I feel Arab. <laughs> Tell me where to stop whenever. Today I feel African. <laughs> what if it paused? What if he was like, and I feel horny. <laughs> 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 
do some random shit and I feel sad. (laughs) (laughs) I farted. (laughs) I am a bald. It took me no seconds. It It took no seconds. What, why would he why would he start like that? This is the problem with like I guess white dudes that we feel like sometimes we got I feel Katari. No, you're don't no, you do not. He's like, dude, first, he's been there for he, three days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not Katari. You're Italian as fuck. Yeah. All right. Do you Wait. think he wrote this or do you think he had a speechwriter? That's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it, uh, someone wrote, oh, this would be great for this really white dude to say. He doesn't even look Italian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks I <like>. am Arab. <laughs> <laughs> First thing you must know. <laughs> he looks like an ex UFC fighter. Without, I am now without- Muslim. <laughs> 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 I prayed five times my hair would grow back. <laughs> Allah. Allah bless this speech. Inshallah. He gets like super duper, like way too in. He's like, Allah is everything now. (laughs) All right, here we go. Today I feel uh, gay. (laughs) Wait, wait, someone messed with us, right? What? That someone messed with that. That he didn't really say. No, this is a real I'm not even joking. This is a real speech. This is not a deep fake. Well, you know what's happening in guitar, right? Yeah, they are, they're like outlawing like um, gay sex and <laughs> well, that's probably been like that. But they you can't wear the rainbow shirts or something. No, they're allowing the rainbow. They want more rainbows. They want to be like we're part of the world, baby. But oh, really? Accor- like according to the president of Qatar or whatever, yeah, he's like came out right before the World Cup and said that it's a mental illness. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's so fucked up there that that's like progressive because before it was like an evil <laughs> sin. Yeah. It was the demonic is, before. Yes, it was really bad. <laughs> Listen, we found out they're actually crazy. Sorry, oopsies. <laughs> now we're not gonna kill them. We're gonna fucking lock them up, you know, or you know, get them help. We might kill them. We buddy. might still kill them. Only back. <laughs> it's not funny, but <laughs> it is a little funny. And then also, like, it's so horrible. Women, yeah. women are in what is it called? Guardianships by man, men that live. So like, so the whole country of Qatar is Britney Spears. Yes, what you're saying? yes, <laughs> it's a country of <laughs> Britney Spears. <laughs> instead of instead of free Brit, that's how we know we have it okay in America. We're saying free one woman. The country of Qatar is like free all. Women. All women. <laughs> Every woman in Qatar and. It's not really funny, but every woman in Qatar has it just slightly worse than Britney Spears. And get this. Yeah. Today, England beat Iran 6-2. to two. Right. And when asked after the game, the Iranian players were like, it's because there was too many women in the field. <laughs> that was a joke. What? That was a joke. That was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> because, because the English guys are bitches. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, the, the Iranian guys were like, we couldn't play well because the British guys look like chicks and we wanted to fuck them. Yeah, especially that Harry Maguire guy. Oh, is he hot? No, that would hit if you knew who that was, though. Oh, is he ugly? He's basically the Brendan Chobb of English football. He says a lot of stupid stuff. No, he just does a lot of stupid things. Is he like Cockney, like from the, you know, I waiting it. That's you know that's a lot of the English players. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Those are the guys that are really good. They like Harry struggle. Kane. Uh, he's <laughs> that's not a real name. <laughs> it's a real name. He's the number one goal Harry scorer. Harry Kane. Yeah. That's not a real name. We're not going to buy into that shit. No, you know why? He changed his name to Harry Kane because it was cultural appropriation. They What's don't have about? any hurricanes out in England. That's so stupid. Harry Potter. <laughs> he should change. You're his- a football player, Harry. <laughs> he should change his name to Stormy Knight. What does that mean? Because there's a lot of storms. A lot of Stormy Knights. In- Fair enough. Listen, dude, I'm progressive now, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta fuck you. <laughs> English, the English and the Iranian, and then oh yeah, the Britney Spears, the Cutter thing. Yeah. So what, what were you? Yeah. So what were you saying about Cutter? Women have no rights in Cutter. So yeah, let's say yeah. I'm a woman and you're a man. We're both Qatari, right? Right. What's your name? Um, that was you a, said, that was a I'm, test. That was a I'm test. A Don't woman, say I'm... some racist name. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's say I'm the woman, you're the man. Right. The man dies. We have a kid together. Uh huh. The kid goes to the government because the woman does not have, like, she's not an independent. Right. She needs somebody to watch after him, her. So the man is, like, now the man of the house or whatever the word is. But, like, if the man dies, the kid goes to the government. It is, like, the woman can't keep her own kid. Oh, 
Oh, I see what you're saying. That's yeah. kind of that's crazy as hell. Yeah. So <laughs> okay, crazy as hell. And you start laughing. They don't trust the, a woman to raise their own kid if the man dies. Yeah. Dang, that's that is really nuts. They have to ask for permission to get higher education, all that stuff. But what I heard, I and I just know from Twitter, so it could be fake news. But I heard they had like an armband that was a rainbow that the players were wearing to show support for um, like LGBT stuff. Yeah. But they banned the headbands because, or FIFA banned it because they were worried about Cutter getting mad. Is that true? Well, according to FIFA, they banned it because they didn't want anyone getting unnecessary uh, bookings. You know what? Book- oh, yeah. yellow cards and red cards yeah. from the rest that are like, wow, <laughs> right. that's disgusting. <laughs> that's disgusting. Um, or also, they banned. There was this guy that sent a tweet. He had like a rainbow shirt on, and he was like, I w- they wouldn't let me in without changing my shirt. What? It's like, damn, dude, you guys are crazy. That's like. So intense. Also, too, there's no drinking in Qatar. Right. But they're allowing... Uh, of course you know that. That's the only thing you know. <laughs> That's the only thing I care about. It's like, if I was there, how do I drink? So you're telling me I got to be a rich oil sheik to drink? <laughs> so they have designated areas in the stadium that you can go drink at, but you're not allowed to drink at your seats. Oh, yeah. I guess that's a compromise, I mean. Also, you're allowed to drink, but you're not allowed to get drunk. Yeah, I mean, you probably. I, I mean, I like getting drunk, but you, in the reality, you probably shouldn't get drunk in a sports game. I mean, anyway, yeah, but right? who is in their right mind is spending their life's earnings every four years to go to the World Cup and not, not getting get drunk? drunk yeah, that's dude. true. Yeah, the people that have the Coke cans hiding over beer. Some guy was like, "LOL, risking your like being in a uh, yeah locked up abroad Qatari yeah. prison to like drink a IPA." Well, let's be honest though, Qatari prison does not sound that bad, right? Because you're. Why? Just a bunch of gay dudes and like, you know. <laughs> that is funny. Like they've arrested so many gay dudes that it's just like a nice place. <laughs> yeah. It's just like nice guys are like, what you're like, what are you in for? And like, nah, how I was born. <laughs> <laughs> but you like did some crimes and they're like, not in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of just went on a date. Uh, and yeah. that's why I'm, I mean, it's so sad. But it would be like a very nice prison if it was just made up of friendly gay men. <laughs> yeah. All right. Are you ready to watch this? <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. Today I feel disabled. Disabled? <laughs> Today I feel uh, a migrant worker. Of course, I'm not. Uh... Pause. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're not a migrant worker because you'd be dead. Yeah. You know, like so many that there's like 2,000. 6,000. 6,000. God. Died doing. How? how? Why? Well, basically, Qatar spent two hundred two billion dollars to create a city, uh-huh. like that what didn't exist already, and also all the stadiums around. Yeah, They're like within a fifty mil- fifty mile radius, there's some seven stadiums I think they created, or seven to thirteen stadiums, some number like that. They made these stadiums and they refurbished like two. Right. So, so it's like it sounds. It sounds like the old, like the Egypt and the slaves building the pyramids. That's nuts. And the, the population of Qatar is like 300,000, or Doha, rather. Oh. The population of Doha. Is that like the capital or something? That's where the World Cup is taking place. Oh, okay. All the stadiums are in Doha. Doha. Okay. It's like if the World Cup took place in Los Angeles, basically. Can you imagine if even one person died building a fourth wall? <laughs> <laughs> All right. But uh, So many people so the, have died a fourth wall. The Qatari, the Qatari population is like, or the Doha population is roughly like 300,000. But there was 2.1 million migrant workers uh, in Qatar while working on the stadiums at one point. Do they say how they, like, did they die because it's really hot there and they, like, heat exhaustion? or? Like- so, yeah, according to FIFA or according to the Qatari whatever board of fucking World Cup, let's go yeah. jack each other off, whatever that thing's called, yeah. only three people died, according to them. <laughs> I laugh. I mean, it's not. It's sad. It's sad. I want to give this the appropriate weight. I feel terrible. No, I mean, no. And everybody, it's, it's your first time hearing about this. But yeah, but like, the, so they're disputing the numbers. They're saying that instead of six thousand, it was only three. Yes. Do they say what happened to those three people? Um, work-related injury. Oh, so okay. And then there was thirty-seven non-work-related injuries, which were like people that were just in Doha and died. I guess. Yeah, <clears> I saw a little bit of it in the Netflix thing where he was saying how like people were. Dying before they even started building this shit over other stuff that they were building. Yeah, but that's all ready. fake news. That's because yeah. the six thousand number is coming from the countries that sent migrant workers to Qatar. Yeah. So yeah. they're saying that these people didn't come back. Crazy. So yeah. Bengal. It was Bengal. 
Or is that how you say it? Bengal? I, I'm not the person. Or Nepal or something. Yeah, well, Nepal. Nepal, because that's they're Bengalese, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so fun. I don't know. So Nepal and India then, right? And a, a bunch of little a bunch of other uh, southeast countries. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Damn. And then also like Kenya, some African workers also. Oh, really? Today I feel Nigerian. And they're like, <laughs> they're not even Nigerian. They're from Kenya. Like, I'm sorry. I feel Nigerian. He just says it again. He's like, and honestly, today I feel kind of bored. This speech sucks. Today I feel he takes out Morocco. He's so All right. All right, ready? Latino. I feel Latino. Qatari, I'm not Arab. I'm not African. I'm not oh, shit. gay. I'm not disabled. <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm not gay. Really, a migrant worker. Not really. But I feel like them because I know what it means to be discriminated. We're doing that right now. To be bullied <laughs> as a foreigner in a foreign country, as a child at school. <laughs> I was bullied because I had uh, red hair. Because I was gay. And I had these red, how do you call them? <laughs> All right, well, now I'm starting to relate to this. <laughs> I was never, thankfully I missed out on the ginger thing. No yeah. one ever called me that. I didn't get called a ginger until like college. Yeah. And, I, and at that point it wasn't really an insult. I wonder how I missed. There, was a, there wasn't any red haired kids in my class. Well, there was one and he got bullied incessantly. Profusely. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get bullied. Probably because I was too busy bullying myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was bullied in school because I had red pubic hair. <laughs> I would pull down my pants. <laughs> Why? I was bullied because I had uh, red hair and I had these red, how do you call them? Uh, freckles. 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 Sorry? Freckles. 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 Yes, yeah, I don't even know the term. Freckles, sir. <laughs> so I was bullied, <laughs> of course, for that. He a great Plus, point. I was Italian, so imagine. Oh. Didn't speak good German. Oh, okay. So he's an Italian in Germany. He grew up in Germany as an Italian? Probably, yeah. German, that makes a little more sense. He does seem kind of Germanish. Yeah, yeah. All the why is why is soccer controlled by German people? I like that kind of shit. Um, Except as Swiss, that's like German, right? Well, soccer is controlled by different. I mean, you saw the documentary, so you know Jack Warner had like the most control because he had a lot more countries in the Caribbean. Yeah. So it's controlled by whoever has the most votes, basically. Yeah. 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 German, Swiss. Is it any different to Brandon? No. <laughs> All right, here we go. And what do you do then? You lock yourself down, you go into your room, you cry. And then you try to make some friends. And you try to speak, to engage. And you try to get these friends to engage as well with others Positive. and others and others. He reminds me of like the Triumph Insult comic dog. Yeah. Like a, tire, a tired version. Yeah. You go to your room. <laughs> I can't remember the Triumph. Ugly like a dog. What did Triumph used to say? I don't know. So for me to poop on. Yeah, you always say for me to poop on. <laughs> I go to my room. I jack off a little bit. Yeah. I jack off. I make friends. I jack off again. I go. I am disabled. But I jack off. He's like, but my friends, they don't jack off. They don't. <laughs> He's delivering food now. <laughs> All right, keep going. You don't start accusing, fighting, insulting. You start engaging. And this is what we should be doing. Today I feel... I never want to be the guy today <laughs> i feel gay I feel, you never want i never want to be the guy that thinks he's going to make this speech that's going to change how people think you know yeah you to be that guy it's so rare and you you know you have to like have the uh faith of the people you're speaking to they kind of kind of like that's like a jfk move or yeah. like martin luther <clears throat> king or like also, nobody ever wants to be that guy. It just yeah. kind of like happens. Yeah, yeah it fought, you, you're you called on. You yeah. don't call upon yourself. And you certainly don't do it in Qatar after they've built yeah. 
the World Cup off of slave labor where thousands of people yeah. have died. And also he's basically saying like, listen, you guys suffer from discrimination for being gay. Make a friend. Like that's, <laughs> yeah, what, that's what he's saying. Yeah, he's comparing him being bullied as a ginger to like being disabled <laughs> yeah. or like a, a foreign worker who's being exploited in a, in a crazy way. Yeah. This is like biblical exploitation. This hasn't <laughs> happened in a long time from what I know. I mean, maybe it, ha- it probably has. We don't know. But this seems really bad. Yeah, but like a world governing body to do it is crazy. And FIFA clearly, that's the president of FIFA? Yeah. So FIFA's definitely still corrupt if that guy's doing that. Yeah, so this after this happened, everyone's like, oh, we're still we're still the set bladder FIFA then. Like, It'd be funny if while he was doing that stupid speech, money started falling out of his pocket. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel rich today. <laughs> I, feel, I feel bribery today. He I up. am Jack Warner. <laughs> <laughs> I am Sepp Blatter. Today. He's a fucking idiot. Well, yeah. What was the reaction to the speech? Get- uh, basically what I just told you that everyone thinks he's still Sepp Blatter, but he says something else that's pretty crazy. Okay. So or, let's, I can't believe there's more of this guy. Let's watch this one right here. I'm European. <laughs> Actually, I am this is the European. Speech. Actually, not just I feel European. <laughs> I think for what we Europeans have been doing in the last 3,000 years around the world, we should be apologizing for the next 3,000 years <laughs> before starting to give moral lessons to people. Today, <laughs> I have uh, very strong feelings. I'm woke. I can tell you that. I'm, I'm very horny. <laughs> I am woke, but most importantly, I am hard <laughs> in my penis area. <laughs> and that's it. He just goes on to the next stuff, but uh, the same thing we just watched. That's so funny. That he, I, it's funny to watch the thing, the other thing first because he's like, you know, I'm all of these things, but then the very beginning is like, I am European, actually. <laughs> Not any of those gross things I was just talking about. <laughs> yeah. No, really. Yeah. I think... Europeans should be apologizing for all the fun things that we did that you like. <laughs> you like, like it. He's like, I like it. Qatari can stay the same. We did things terribly for 3,000 years. Listen, we did a lot of bad stuff, okay? <laughs> Qatar, we can't talk. I mean, look at what we did. So they, so they kill people. We did. A, we pay them money, you know, so they could kill more people. Yeah. It's it's fun. I am disabled. Did I not mention this? <laughs> I am, I'm African, so. I am African, so it does not matter. <laughs> the bribes continue until I come again. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to make me come? Who's going to jack me? <laughs> Will you walk me to my truck? <laughs> this is like the Brendan Shabbification of America. Yeah. Everyone is a moron, including the president of FIFA. He's not American. <laughs> Did I call? Oh, yeah. He said of America. Did I say of America? Yeah. yeah. I'm Brennan Schaub, too. <laughs> Where you watch 10 minutes of Schaub, I feel like Gerardo. <laughs> so he's not in trouble? People aren't reporting on this? No, I mean, it's, dog, it's the funniest thing, I think. It's pretty funny. Yeah. I think the, there's just so much in the news right now that this got buried because I didn't even see this. Like what? What's the consequence of FIFA being some corrupt body? You know, I guess you can't really do anything. Although in that documentary, the FBI was like investigating them, and they like put them some of them to trial. I think I don't. But a lot of the people aren't in the U.S. I know they arrested Jack Warner's kids. Mm-hmm. That was kind of funny. They arrested his two kids, and they were like, "Listen, if you ever want to see your kids again." You got to testify. And Jack Warner was like, well, I hope they get a good lawyer. And yeah. Went back in the yeah. <laughs> that guy's a beast. Yeah. Jack Warner is. Doing your shit. <laughs> Jack Warner is uh, the the former president of the CONCACAF, CONCACAF Federation. The CONCACAF, yeah. yeah. Which is America, the Caribbean, and like Central America, North America. Yeah. It stands for like Cooney on Netflix, Nar- Narcotics. Narcotics. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Cooney on narcotics can't alienate friends. <laughs> well, I will say more. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, but uh, are you going to watch any of the matches at all? Um, I want to. If I had more time, I would. I like the World Cup. I just, it's at 8 tomorrow, you're telling me, Mexico's playing. Well, it's at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. is Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, uh. 
5 a.m. is Denmark and Tunisia. 8 a.m. is Mexico and Poland, which is a huge game. And then 11 a.m. is France and Australia. Yeah, I just, I mean, I'm going to be up at 8, but I, I'm going to go to work. So most of the time I'll be at work and I can't really watch it there because I'm going to be working. Because you guys aren't patriotic. To Mexico, no. Friday, England plays USA. Friday, on Friday, you and, okay. I, maybe I'll watch that if one of my friends talks me into it back home because I'll be back home in Arlington, Virginia on the uh, the 23rd to the, um, till Sunday. 25th. Flying back. Is that the 25th? Probably Sunday not. is the 25th? It's probably not. No. no. <laughs> yeah, incorrect. <laughs> the 27th, I believe, is Sunday. But yeah, little little trip back home. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Um, we're going to go visit my girlfriend's uncle who's is sick. Wrong. You're going to Flappers. No, <laughs> I no, wish. Sorry, no, sorry to hear about that. What? Is he, he's sick? He's in the Yeah, he's or? he yeah, he's sick. Just sick. Oh, okay. Well, best of luck to Maria's uncle. And but my grandma went to the hospital this last week. Yeah. And you were saying miraculous recovery, right? Yeah. I mean, what happened was, if you don't mind me taking the floor for a second, yeah, yeah. I went to Jersey Mike's. I think I told you all this, right? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, because I got there early in the day. It was like she fell the night before she fell and hit her chin really hard on something. Yeah. And so the brain injury, like she's 91 know. years old. So yeah. they're like, yo, there's, she, she already wants to die. She really wants to die. Like she says like, God's not answering my prayers. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Like she's Cooney at 90 years old. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, the, cause that's what I'm saying right now. Yeah. <laughs> Cooney at 36. Yeah. Uh, so basically she's like, I don't, 35, sir. But keep <laughs> she's like, I don't want you guys to keep me around. Don't put a like breathing tube on me, all this stuff before uh, the fucking incident happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So she has like <laughs> no will to live. <laughs> Just kidding. But you know, like she, she, she was going to get her hair done the next day and she kept telling her son cause her son still live with her. Uh, I'm going to, uh, take a shower to get ready for tomorrow. So I don't have to do it in the morning. And then he was like, nah, just get ready in the morning. You know, you have nothing else to do. You're 91 years old, you know, just go to sleep. And then she got up again and was like, I'm going to go take a shower. And he's like, I just told you, like, don't do it right now. Take a shower in the morning. Mm -hmm. Everyone goes to sleep and she wakes up or gets up to go take a shower to the towel cabinet, takes a towel out and falls. Mm -hmm. So like there's a towel on the ground, the cabinet's open and she's on the ground. My uncle wakes up because he hears that and goes and calls the ambulance, calls a couple of my cousins because they're doctors or whatever. Yeah. Because she doesn't speak English. So they needed a translator that's also right. like kind of medical professional, whatever. Sure. <clears throat> and they go to the hospital. The next day, I go early in the morning and I visit with her, I'm getting hungry. I go to Jersey Mike's. Now we're at Jersey Mike's, right? I get a giant sub. You know what a giant is, right? Mm-hmm. You've got one before? No, I usually just get a Mike's way and pray for the, hope for the best, whatever that means. So you get it regular? Probably. So I got a giant Mike's way, Italian Mm -hmm. talking all the provolone you want, salami, pepperoni, a little bit of infantini. If you know what I'm saying, (laughs) Gianni, (laughs) no. Okay. (laughs) Fuck. I'm delivering food now. Um, (laughs) is delivering food now. And so I eat that shit whole. I just eat the whole, I I told her, don't cut it. Just Mm -hmm. let me, let me do my thing, you know? Mm -hmm. And I go back to the hospital. I'm kind of getting bored. I'm not going to lie with you. Right. I want to leave. But when I get back to the hospital, there's doctors in the room with the rest of my family saying, like, we all know you guys share with us profusely that she wishes to die. We get it. Like, you don't have to tell us anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. We're going to do our best. Like, Rosa, shut up. <laughs> shut up, Rosa. <laughs> and uh, so they're basically like, listen, even if we wanted to keep her alive. Mm-hmm. Like if we did, if we pulled out all the stops, you guys are just fucking shelling out the cash or whatever. It would be hard. It would be very unlikely she, she survives. Can I ask stop for a I picture this room as like four to five people with Make America Great hats on. <laughs> <laughs> Why, my family? Yeah. Why? They're like chanting for Trump. <laughs> the doctors are like, okay, but can we focus on like what's going on right now? And they're no. like, no, not in Biden's America. We can't. <laughs> but anyway. Keep going. Uh, what's it called? So basically, they're telling us that it's very unlikely she'll live, even if we were given the opportunity to save her, mm-hmm. which you guys obviously do not want us to do because she doesn't wish for that. Right. So what we got to do is just make her comfortable. You know, make noises. Like, if anyone want to play a song, to, like, bring her back so you guys can say bye to her one last time. Literally. Like, hmm. 
the words very unlikely by la- one last time, those kind of things are being right, said. Right, right, right. Right. Uh, and they're just like, all right, well, what about if she gets hungry, if we take her back? Because she wishes to die at her home. So, like, if she gets hungry, what do we do? Like, and they were basically like, in her state, you don't have to feed her because she's not, she's not going to starve. Mm. She's not going to have an appetite. So, like, she'll just disintegrate into nothingness, basically. Whatever this thing, the, she says disintegrate. So, mm. uh, or deteriorate, rather. Mm. Um, anyways, I want to fucking leave, dude, this whole time, right? Mm. The doctors walk out of the room and... Right when the doctor leaves, I fucking fart, dude. But, like, I thought it was going to be silent. Does that happen to you ever? Or you don't fart yeah. publicly? Yeah, no, I try not to. But, yes, I have mm. farted loudly by accident before, yeah. Yeah, so I fart rather loud. Mm. I thought it was going to be silent. But it's just, like, doctor leaves. I go, <laughs> like that, dude. Like, comic yeah. relief fart. Yeah. Everyone looks at me, starts laughing, like, holding their face, like, <laughs> laughing and shit, you know? Yeah. And uh, I left right after that. I was like, well, that's my cue to leave kind of thing, right? Okay, okay, okay. Everyone's laughing. I walk outside the hospital and they tell me my grandma woke up, woke up, dude. Yeah, yeah, you were weird. That's why I laughed when originally when you said Jersey Mike's because he already told me that you farted. So, I, so if I sound insensitive there, that's why. I don't. I prayed for Gerardo's grandmother to survive, not for him to fart. Yes. But uh, yeah, well, you know, if I'm about to die, you have my permission to fart in front of my family in my hospital room. Yeah, the doctors were all of the rage. They were saying this is a miracle cure and, uh, <laughs> you know. Hell yeah. All right, well, you know what time it is. Checking in with you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Right now, dude? Yeah, you know, we want to see the World Cup. Tomorrow, so. <laughs> Checking in with Scott. Damn, Checking I felt like that Scott. story was blockbuster, dude. No, I enjoyed some of it. Was it Netflix? It was a little bit Netflix at parts. Damn. I like saying that Russ is drunk. <laughs> I, I enjoyed saying that. Uh, all right, let me get this up. Scott. Where, Scott's delivering food now. Dude, Congr- I can't, when is that documentary coming out? Can't wait to watch that shit. Uh, dude, have you seen... I was trying to look for the trailer the other night. The Flappers trailer? Uh-huh. And so they took it down. I couldn't find it anywhere. That's funny. That'd be hilarious if they took it down because they definitely deleted all the comments, remember? Yeah. All those people that were like, Pukunian, Pukunian. Yeah. What a loser thing to do. Yeah. Sad. They and could have done like a, a little snippet of like our online uh, presence. Anything that the, I do connected with them helps them so much. Their, their brand is horrible. Yeah. They should definitely embrace what I'm doing, but they're too stupid to do it. Yeah. A bunch of morons run that club. All right, here we go. Checking in with Scott. Checking in with Scott. Waka Kenyo and Santa Carita takes it to another level. Fire emoji. How many drinks do you think went into that tweet? Well, <laughs> let's see. It's at one o two a.m., so he's definitely towards the end of the night. Yeah. I wonder what Waka Kenyo is like and saying. I when I was this is the night before. I wasn't. I didn't make it up for Waka Kenyo, but I did stay in Santa Carita, and I. You know what? I enjoyed myself. A nice uh, courtyard Marriott. I think I got some. They got for free, so I enjoy it. Santa Clarita is north of Glendale, right? I don't know. It's like a suburb of L.A. Okay. Yeah. So I drove up there, had a good time. Glad to hear Scott's had a good time. Hope you had a good time on this episode. Uh, check you out next week. Tune in. Join the Discord. Have a good... Oh, do we? were we going to shout out anybody? Shout out the regs, dude. Shout out Luke Schwartz. Oh, shit. Shout out... We already shout out Jay Light, who had... Lunch with Gerardo. Shout out to all the people on the Discord. Shout out Douglas Mattress, uh, Uh-oh. Chemical. Uh-oh. Who else we got in here, dude? Sh- slow Bike Racer, dude. Oh, we got new people. We got newies, newbies. Probably there for the 10 minutes of shop thing. So will they hear this part? No. Shout out Gringo Poppy. <laughs> Gringo Poppy made a big entrance with a great name. Uh, and if, also Frankie Danky has a second account now. Yeah, Frankie Danky, man. I hope you're doing okay. I know that you had the... Um, Get some COVID and you had to take off work. That sucks. Damn. Also, do you see Drone Adventures posted on the, what did he post on the YouTube comments? No, what did he put? He said that his, like, his ex-wife, like, makes him take a helicopter to their kid because she, like, lives in Alaska or something. I'm probably botching it. It sounded awful. So I hope you're doing okay, DA. Uh, DA. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds really, you have to literally go in a helicopter to pick up your kid. That's, like, worse than having to go to the West Side, you know? Yeah. So uh, whatever you do, don't stop commenting, dude. Yeah, please. You're you're all we. Uh, you're our saving grace. Yeah. I really do like your comments the most. All right, tune in next week. Bye.